Hello again, Sibelius users of YouTube. Today we are going to talk about how to create repeat signs in the middle of a bar or creating repeat signs to repeat back to irregularly numbered bars that aren't in your time signature. So here I have my little horn quartet going and I'm going to uh, create a new time signature uh, I'm going to go to more options. So bef let's say I wanted an eighth note pickup, and I wanted that repeat sign to be at the start of an eighth note pickup. So I'm going to, we're going to stay in, we're actually just going to stay in 2-4 for this, but we're going to start with a bar length of an eighth note. And I like to do this before I input any notes, just for simplicity's sake. So we're going to put that here. And so... Here we have our uh, new time signature, essentially. And I did this at the beginning of this movement, actually. As you can see, I'll scroll over to, you, to here, where I have a bar number, a uh, bar of a length of an eighth note, and then I have this little contraption over here, which is a 2 4 bar that repeats in the middle back to the start. So I'm just going to explain how to go through that really quickly. Okay, so we have our bar of this length, and we're just going to have an F. Okay, now we're going to go to a couple bars later, and this is where it gets a little confusing, and if anyone has a workaround for this, please let me know, because I've been doing this for a little bit, and I would love a simpler way to take care of this. Um, well, first, let's put a repeat sign here. So we're going to go to bar line, start repeat, and then in this measure, we're actually going to create a new time signature of uh, of like of three eight. We're going to fill it out so that it's an accurate repeat back to that initial bar right here. So three eight. I'm going to type that in, and I'm going to add another bar. But this bar, I'm going to make it a 1-8 bar in order to add up to our 2-4. So I just want the repeat to be in the middle of the bar. I don't want it to look like this, like two different time signatures. So I'm going to hide it with the shortcut Command H or uh, Shift Command H is what I have on my computer. So Shift Command H, hide both of those, and then I'm going to put an end repeat right here. And so when you look at the piece, it's going to seem, you know, this is an eighth note long, so we're just going to put another G there, or E there. And I can, as you can see, I will input little notes like that that have three eighth notes, so it matches up with this bar length here. And uh, if you wanted the bar before to be a different time signature to add these two up to a 2-4 bar, you would simply go to time signature, click T, and uh, go to more options and just put in uh, another 3 8. But then you'd hide the bar, you know, with your command H, and then another hiding of the 2 4 bar there. Uh, which is, this is kind of confusing because this is a pickup to this. So, however you want to do it, you can either do it with this 1 8 or the 2 4 with a pickup. And that way it looks very seamless and uh, pretty when you drop it all in. Hope this has been very helpful. Uh, let me know what you think. Comment, subscribe, ask questions. I am all ears. Hope you guys have a great day and happy composing.